Hi, I'm Brian Johnson, nutrition consultant and personal trainer. And for those that know me know that I'm passionate about healthy eating and drinking. Today I want to talk about the differences between processed versus unprocessed water as measured by their pH, which can actually determine whether or not it's acidic or alkaline. And we know that promoting alkalinity within the body can actually help increase overall health. So the reason that we wanted to do this is to show you that a lot of the drinks that are on the market today aren't as healthy as they think. Uh, the, the body has a natural balancing of pH um, and, and we know through studies that the more acidic we become, typically in association with a modern lifestyle, the more chance we have for disease and sickness. So we want to promote those, those drinks that actually promote alkalinity and steer clear of those more acidic in nature. And so let's take a look at some of those drinks that we typically see on the market. So the first one that we have here is a typical reverse osmosis uh, bottled water. And we're gonna take these uh, pH measuring reagent drops and test uh, the alkalinity or acidity on our pH scale here. So when we look at that, this actually has a nice kind of yellowish uh, yellowish green, slight green, so it's more acidic on the, the pH scale. So um, we know that, that that is something that, that more than likely we want to we want to steer clear of. Um, the second one we have here is also a reverse osmosis base water, but this one is um, typically uh, at, infused with synthetic vitamins and minerals and um, natural sweeteners. Now we can see even more so than the, the bottled RO water that this one is very acidic. So this is promoted as a healthy beverage yet we're getting this acidic test as compared to our pH chart. We move down to the next drink here is a typical uh, sports drink and when we test it again much like the synthetic vitamin infused water which is similar to what, what's being done here. This is a combination of sugar and, and electrolytes. We're seeing that this is actually acidic on, on the scale by the orange, orange yellow that we're getting when we add our drops. The interesting thing about this is we're actually drinking this when typically when we're doing some type of sport or endurance event, when we wanna actually get rid of the acidity that we're creating by the event, yet the water itself is promoting acidity within the body. So the next one we have here is uh, just conventional tap water. And when we test this with our drops, we'll notice that um, it's, it's uh, neutral on the, on the pH scale. So it has a kind of a green, almost slight blue color tint to it. Now, the interesting thing about tap water is the government mandates that it, ha that it, that it maintains a neutral pH. And the way that they maintain that is by adding things like chlorine and fluoride and, and bromates to the water to, to get it relatively consistent. Unfortunately, through the filtering and a, a, a mineral addition process, um, they can't take out particulates like jet fuel, arsenic, um, or prescription drug residue, some pretty, pretty nasty stuff. Um, the last one we have here is a naturally occurring mineral water this one is, um, is what I would consider an unprocessed water. And as you can see, when we test it with our drops, it has a very dark blue, almost uh, purplish color to it, which is, again, a, a, a more alkaline, alkaline testing water. And we know that if a water tests un alkaline, typically it's, it's considered an unprocessed water, which is what we want to, uh, what we want to promote within the, within the body. The body has a natural pH that's affected by what we put into it. Adding a high alkalinity mineral water to your diet can actually help counter some of the effects of a modern, uh, modern lifestyle and increase overall health, making you feel great in the process. So test this for yourself. Try adding an unprocessed mineral water to your daily diet and see how it makes you feel. I'm Brian Johnson, helping people eat, think, and move better.